But ASI is be getting to be well known in the medical field, and now we are seeing specialized cancer detection tools. And there's a number of different uh, scenarios and possibilities that this could lead to in this. Uh, we're going to talk about it in this video. So let's jump into it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on X as well if you're watching over there. So let's talk about it. I apologize. I'm feeling under the weather lately. I've been uh, quite ill since probably Wednesday evening sometime. Um, so just bear with me here. I'm just not quite myself yet, guys. Uh, so let's talk about what's going on here with ASI. ASI has been in the uh, topping the charts basically. Yesterday, I shared on X uh, a picture of uh, Coin Market Caps top 100. ASI was leading the charge there yesterday. Um, so they're introducing specialized AI for cancer diagnosis. Now, what this is, is they made a major breakthrough in, in science as it unveils a specialized artificial intelligence AI tool that significantly advances the state of automated cancer detection technology. And we all know what that really uh, says here. You know, anything that can help uh, you know, automate or, you know, uh, accelerate detection, you can get treatments faster, your, uh, your planning for your treatments can be done uh, much easier, your doctors have more time to do those things. And that's a really a big major addition to the to the family medical family models as well. Now, specifically, it's designed to detect lymph node uh, metastasis in cancer patients. Medically, this term means that the spread of cancer cells from a primary tumor into nearby lymph nodes. We hear that a lot when uh, when people are talking about breast cancer. You have breast cancer, it can move into your lymph nodes and then basically, um, you know, it, making your cancer that much uh, harder to treat if treatable at all. Now, <clears throat> In 2023, 26% of breast cancer patients out of 250,000 analyzed cases were reported to have lymph node positive disease. So that's something that is very, uh, you know, labor intensive in detecting, and very, very time consuming. So this is going to free up doctors to basically give more, um, you know, personalized health care, uh, treatment plans, that sort of thing, and just kind of free up some resources, make things quicker, and hopefully uh, make it better for the patients, you know, it, especially in terms of the outcomes, right? Um, so this tool also targets underlying medical challenge with breast cancer patients as well as implications for their outcomes and treatment decisions. Now that also is a, a thing as well because you know if you're getting um, diagnosed faster and uh, your treatments could potentially be different, right? You know, if you're not waiting so long to get diagnosed, um, potentially you could have different treatment uh, decisions to make here as well. So and that can also help um, with that. So let's jump over and take a look at Coin Market Cap today. <clears throat> I'm just going to refresh the page here and uh, we'll take a look at ASI. Uh, we were jumping up around there. Yeah, we're back up towards the top 50. That's sitting at 51 as of right now, sitting at 71 cents. This thing has been doing a very, very good job moving, uh, in my opinion. We can see the last month here, this nice, nice move up that we've been seeing into the 70 cent area. Um, the volume's down right now, had a good run yesterday. Things are just kind of settling, in my opinion, as of today. Yesterday had a, a pretty fantastic looking run, as we can see that on the on the chart here. So let's take, jump over here. We're going to take a look at what Fetch AI has going in addition to this cancer um, diagnosis. <clears throat> Agent first launch pad is coming soon. Uh, so this is going to be every launch here backs at AI uh, live AI agent, not just hype. So that is something we're looking forward to. Um, we also have um, multi agent crews and flows can be registered on agent first marketplace by Fetch AI and can be discovered globally using ASI one. So with just one line of code, you can wrap an entire crew, multiple specialized agents working together into a single uh, U agent endpoint. So basically you have your own team, basically of specialized agents that all can do different things and and work collaboratively to to uh, with each other um, you can message your crew get results such as full travel to itineraries without needing to understand inner workings now the, this also goes back to medical as well i mean you you have all these agents that can do all these different things can you imagine this ecosystem in just a few years this is going to be massive uh the amount of things that the, these guys are going to be able to accomplish is going to be legendary in my opinion so you know sitting at 71 cents i think that this is an absolute steal and uh you know really will thank you know, the macro factors for uh giving us these prices yet again so um, you know, hopefully we'll see uh, some very good things come from this in terms of, uh, you know, helping with, you know, cancer research and diagnosis and treatment plans and all that good stuff, because that's really what AI is really about. It's about, you know, developing um, solutions for the good of humanity, in my opinion, and that's really what ASI stands by. And that's why I like this project so much. 
thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'm going to go back and rest again because I feel like crap. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. <clears throat>